Welcome to this lecture. Let's have a look at an example of emerging governance related to urban green areas management, the Duck Park in Rotterdam. Rotterdam is a city in South Holland, the Netherlands. It is home to Europe's largest port and today has a population of approximately 600,000 people, ranking second in the Netherlands. The current configuration of the Rotterdam municipality is the result of the union of 12 municipalities, which were directly dependent on the Rotterdam City Council. The city is divided into a northern and southern part by the river Neumas, connected by tunnels and bridges. Small practices of public services co-creation are not new in Rotterdam. In particular, the historical practice of transforming part of the sidewalks into small flower beds to create small gardens outside of private houses, which are maintained by residents, is one of the main characteristics of people activism. People usually carry out such practices independently, acting on the public space without permission. Practices similar to this one are well tolerated, but still not fully recognized or even fostered by public administration. <coughs> Let us now have a look at one specific area within Rotterdam, which can illustrate some of the developments that are happening in this city around the co-creation of services. Although the experience of the Duck Park cannot describe the whole complexity of what is happening around the city of Rotterdam, it is an illustration of co-creation regarding urban green areas maintenance and management. The Duck Park is a roof park located in the west side of the city of Rotterdam in the Elsaven area. The park was inaugurated in July 2013. The project of a roof park was strongly supported by the Rotterdam municipality. The Duck Park Rotterdam is a joint pro process of the city of Rotterdam and the two private developers, a landscape architect studio designed the park. The Duck Park Rotterdam combines a shopping promenade, a garage, an embankment and a rooftop park for the neighborhood, where different types of community gardens are located. The idea of the project was that the commercial square meters sold at their rent had to economically sustain the realization and maintenance of the park itself. Since the beginning of the project, neighborhood associations were involved in the different phases of the project. The rationale of the municipality and developers to involve groups of citizens in the decision-making process was to try to lower the protest of the big intervention that was going to happen. The citizens had the opportunity to be part of the planning process and they were asked for their involvement during the realization of the project. The result of the involvement of citizens in the process was the birth of the Rooftop Association, which was founded in 2013 by the residents of the neighborhoods surrounding the park. The involvement of the citizens did not end when the park was finished. The residents wanted to permanently maintain their park. The citizens succeed in the negotiation with the municipality. They are currently responsible for the maintenance of and the management of an area of the park. Several volunteer teams are involved, which are supported by a board and coordinators. They collaborate with various public and private partners in order to maintain the green space and organize events in the park. The people involved in such initiative may change over time, although some defined leaders and champions can be identified in each story. Such group of people are open in growing numbers and public and private actors can assume different forms and responsibility each time. Due to the instability in composition of these groups, the public administration faced difficulties in stipulating traditional agreements. Therefore, both the public administration and the community association were called to experiment on a new type of agreement. The stipulation of a contract was a key element in establishing what the responsibility in the management of the area should be. Making such a contract was also a strong need expressed by the community due to the increasing demand of their involvement from the public administration. Such changes in the role allow and force the stakeholder to enter in a continuous dialogue aimed at finding solutions to different issues through a top-down and a bottom-up interaction as an external and internal exchange of knowledge and values. Duck Park 
thus represent a way of experimenting with an innovative long-term management of green space. Public services are co-created by different actors, while green areas are maintained.